Kim, thank you very much. Our in-depth team coverage continues with the images you sent in of the mill fire long before the sun came up through our reported feature. You shared a perspective that could only come from eyewitnesses. Brian Yacona was on scene this Saturday and joins us from the newsroom with more eyewitness video and photos. Your images from across the river, down neighborhood streets, even driving along Route 79 help show the intensity of this fire. In the pre-dawn hours of Saturday, you captured the glow of the fire, illuminating the sky and scene from across the river. Clearly, a massively destructive inferno moving through one of the mill buildings, sitting along Route 79. The whole place was a glow, from one side of the roof to the other, was totally engulfed. Even as flames continued lapping at the collapsed walls hours after the initial fire was reported, fire crews were spraying water. At first I thought it was an explosion or something, then I said, no, it sounds like something fell. And people who live nearby came to see what startled them from their sleep from blocks away. Their descriptions matching your reported images of a wall of flames and the roof and walls of the mill collapsing. I saw the flame shooting straight up into the sky. And I could actually see the, the guy on the uh, aerial ladder shooting a hose on it. Up close, you reported the intensity of the heat with the reminder that firefighters were in the heart of the danger, working to prevent the flames from spreading. A comment I heard from several people while on the scene is how sad they are that the mill is destroyed, calling it a piece of both family and city history that's now lost. In the newsroom, Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News.